Hey Libra, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Libra. Alright. So let's start. You are starting the week with the overall energy of seven cups. <coughs> a lot of confusion, Libra. I think you have a lot of options, a lot of choices in love. Or there could be someone who comes in and creates this kind of confusion in love. All right. Seven of Cups. Mm -hmm. I feel a lot of you, there are a lot of choices in love. That's what's happening later. And maybe some of those choices could be regarding marriage. Okay, maybe you have a lot of proposals coming in is what I'm getting. But you're not doing anything about it. You know, you just feel a lack. You know, sometimes what happens is that um, we have a lot of money, but there is no satisfaction, right? It's something like that. That's what I'm seeing. That there's too many choices that you have in love out here. But unfortunately, none of them are the ones that make you emotionally happy or emotionally content. Which is why you're doing nothing about it. Some of you could be getting married or need wanting to get married. But there is a potential here with the four of wands. You meeting new people out here. So you may have meeting new people. You may be need meeting new people or wanting to meet new people. But unfortunately, the confusion is because you just don't feel that fulfillment. Okay, you still feel that lack. Something's still missing. Okay, which is why I feel things are just stuck in stagnant. <coughs> in the past, we have swords, So I do feel in the past out here there was a situation that created a lot of worry for you, or it was a situation that gave you sleepless nights. Okay, you were very bothered and it was like an obsessive thought. You were worried and regret, remorse, guilt, but something was keeping you up at all night. Alright, and I feel it was something that had to do with a commitment. Maybe there was an offer that was made or you wanted to make an offer to someone, but unfortunately that offer was rejected. Okay, and I feel some of you, most of you chose to move forward. Okay, or chose to move away from this person. Who wasn't ready to offer you that? Okay, so let's clarify uh, the nine of swords. Yeah, uh, a lot of you probably chose to move towards new love. Okay, a lot of you wanted probably a new beginning in love, but chose to move towards new love. Okay, you had a lot of love for this person, but unfortunately, you could be dealing with someone who was emotionally unavailable. Is also what I'm getting. Okay. And maybe you took up a lot of responsibilities of this connection and that connection was becoming an, a, a burden. You know, it was stressed and you just had to let it go. So you ended a cycle out here because you'd rather sleep better. You know, you'd rather stop letting this thing worry. You, you stop worrying about the situation and let it go. Okay. You were bitter. I feel a lot of bitterness from your side. If you were not bitter, this is someone out here who was emotionally very withdrawn and you just didn't know what to do. Although there was a lot of love that this person was holding for you or you were holding for them but you just felt like you were giving in and giving in and giving in and there was no reciprocity and you had to do everything on your own okay and you probably chose to be very very pragmatic about it very um say practical about it and you just chose to move forward see the other ones Yeah. You wanted commitment with this person is what I'm getting. But you finally chose to release yourself from this connection because some of you could be dealing with a very manipulative air sign. Okay, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. For some of you, you felt that this person was keeping around you for their own needs. Okay, the moment they got someone better than you, they kind of chose to walk away. Okay, and you didn't want to be stuck with a person like that. You thought this was a connection that uh, probably held a lot of potential and there was a lot at stake. But you just had to let this person go. Some of you cut this person off. Okay. And I do feel for some of, I mean, there could have been no communication or there was just a lot of uh, negative communication. Okay. This person was abusing their power or there was ego running the show. Now in the current situation, we have the six of pentacles. Five of swords. 
someone out here is wanting to come towards you with a balance okay they want reciprocity they want to in- invest into this connection have an equal give and take they want to take a risk they want to take the sleep of it but i do see there's a power struggle out here yeah i feel you will reject this person okay in the current situation here i feel there are chances you may reject this person okay and there is a missed opportunity here there is a new beginning here or potential of a new beginning here but some of you may just feel that it's uh, uh, you may refuse this offer or you may ignore this person i'm getting new pe- new person out here okay in the current situation there could be a new person who's coming in towards you and this is this person is very much a part of your fate a part of your destiny okay but it's just missed okay because some of you are just sabotaging it because you just believe that this person here is going to repeat the same mistakes that the past person did you know and it's all about taking that risk it's all about taking that leap of faith you know which you pro- probably don't want to do don't want to take a risk yet but i do feel uh, an offer is ignored and if you miss that opportunity here it's 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 happening only because you're too focused on the negative or probably you feel like uh there is no hope in your love life okay you're not being optimistic about your love life because i do see a new start here this could be a new person Let's see yeah there there could be two people coming towards you okay and you're going to have to decide so there is a new beginning here i'm getting too many people coming towards you <coughs> libra that's what we had in the overall situation right too many people towards you one could be uh, someone older to you okay this could be a businessman a business owner okay could even be someone who's married for those of you this could be a, a very grounded person okay someone who's like the provider not the best at emotions but someone who is definitely ready to offer you stability and commitment the other person who's coming towards you is someone who's very rash very impulsive okay but very in and out of your life i feel that could be an ex okay and i do feel that there are opportunities here okay but you are letting go of this opportunities only because either you're waiting for the past person or you don't trust this new person who's coming in but who whoever's coming in in the current situation is going to come in from nowhere you know it's going to be like out of nowhere absolutely unexpected you know it's going to be very very unexpected you won't be expecting these two people coming back and the future we have the ace of swords the eight of swords two of cups wow i do see communication coming in i do see clarity okay there is some uh, situation out here where there is going to be some clarity out here and there is a relationship that's coming for you <coughs> uh it's like a breakthrough is what i'm getting okay someone's breaking the ice or there's a breakthrough in communication or there is a new person out here you know who knows exactly where they want this relationship to be but unfortunately you are not going to be able to give in to this connection because you're going to be holding back the six of swords see you have the clarity there is a new opportunity here and with the ace of swords here this is someone who you probably are very intellectually connected to or someone you know who get very intellectually attracted to okay someone very intelligent all right i feel there is someone who is very very smart very intelligent you know could be another air sign like yourself and you have the clarity they also give you the clarity however the chances are that you may not choose to invest into this person in the future you're holding back i'm not saying that you're completely rejecting the idea of the person who's coming in towards you but you will not completely invest you will not give this person all you had you are still going to be a little dicey honestly that's not very you're not being very practical you're still being a little emotional when it comes to the future out here you're holding back for a reason and probably because you're trying to tame yourself okay tame your emotions because you don't want to be impulsive but i feel that there are chances you may be in two minds okay you want to think and think and think and be extremely logical and extremely practical about where you want to invest into okay i don't feel it's a part of you is wanting to uh, move forward because you think it's the right thing to do since you have clarity and since there is a breakthrough or since there's someone new coming in and a part of you is still not ready to completely invest into this new person okay is what i'm getting here need of sorts oh my god oh my god you have two people coming in 
that's what I said. You have two people coming in. In the current situation also, where I feel you're sabotaging the opportunities, this could just be people you're be talking to online, or this could just be people around you, okay? Two people coming in for sure. The reason you're not reacting in the future, like I said, is because there has been a cycle that has ended, okay? And that's the kind of person who's coming towards you, but you are not going to be open to put all your eggs in one basket. You are not going to be open. You're not going to be wanting to be vulnerable to this person because you just feel you don't want to. This person will come back towards you in the future with an apology. But the reason you're not going to do anything about it, the reason you're just going to feel like your hands are tied and you just can't see the situation for what it is, is because you don't want to express yourself. Okay, you just don't want to open up. You just feel safer keeping it to yourself is what I'm getting. You're not being diplomatic in the future, you know. You're just wanting to avoid confrontation. It's like it's already over and done between us. Why would I want to entertain you anymore? But you have a relationship coming in in the future, whether you like it or not. It's a part of your destiny. It's coming in in the future. You have the clarity also that's coming in. So you have two people. You have your ex coming back and you have a new person coming back. It's going to be up to you, Libra. Regardless, with the two of cups out here, I feel both want the same thing with you. The new person also wants a relationship with you and the old person is ready to invest into you. <clears throat> I like the new person more because I see them more stable. The old person is still coming back trying to work their way towards you okay? because things could have ended badly between you both. That, that is why I said that overall energy, there's going to be a lot of confusion here. Okay. And uh, like I said, four phones out here, you could be meeting new people or you could be getting stability. Okay, something could lead to a stable relationship. However, you don't land up doing anything about it and you just want to wait it out. And there's nothing wrong in that. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> Give me some love messages for Libra from that person. I will be the best version of myself for you. Like I said, they're trying. Okay, this person's trying. They're coming back around trying to rebuild. No one will ever love me like you do and no one will ever love you like I do. You are my soulmate. Two of Cups. See, this person out here considers you as their soulmate. So they are coming in with a relationship. Thank God for Libra and their love life. Mind over matter. Your mind has the ability to control anything even if you are tired. Keep walking. Okay, Libra. Have a question in your mind. I'm going to ask the angels to answer it for you. Please answer the question that Libra has in mind. Okay, we have to. Unlikely. And there's something better. Now, for a lot of you, one thing I'm getting out here is that maybe it could be that uh, a lot of you could be thinking about whether this person out here, the new person that's coming towards you, are they really serious about you or are they going to mess up like the old person out here, etc. It says unlikely, okay? This new person out here, it's very unlikely that they will hurt you or mess up like the past person. And there's something better. Like I said, there is something better coming in, okay? So don't think too much. Don't procrastinate so much, okay? This can move forward. This has the potential to move forward, all right? But this looks good, Libra. It's going to be up to you, all right? You have two people coming in. And um, I feel while you were waiting for this old person to come back, you kind of did connect to another person out here because the two of cups is not a one-sided love. That was in the past, okay? Now, one-sided love does not mean that this person didn't have a connect with you in the past. It meant that there was more love that you held for them and you gave in more, okay? And they took more and gave less is what I'm getting, okay? So that's what I have for you, Libra. Hope this reading resonates and I'll see you next time.